Today, I'm gonna to teach you step-by-step -step how you can use DeepSeek to find unlimited leads for your business. Let's get into it. First of all, log into DeepSeek. Now, if you're unfamiliar with what DeepSeek is, think ChatGPT, but 10 times cheaper and 10 times better, allegedly. First thing we're gonna do is put in this prompt. If I'm feeling nice, I'll put this in the description or in the comments or whatever it may be. So, I'm about to paste business information I found from Google Maps. I want you to create a lead list with the following columns, company name, email, number, website, reviews, location, and so on. For the email column, use the following rules to infer or find email addresses. If the website is available, assume the email follow follows this format, so and so. If the website is not available, use this format. Right? Most businesses have an info at companyname.com.au email. Right? Of course, if you're not in Australia, take the .au off the end of it and just have .com or .uk from where, wherever you are. If the business name, sorry, if the business name includes a person's name, for example, I'll put my name in there. If you're researching real estate agents, roofers, chiropractors, right? And it's in their name, we're going to assume that their email is their first name at companyname.com. For example, I owned my own real estate company. It was named Jaden Greener Real Estate. I would assume that the email that I would choose would be jaden at jadengreenerrealestateagency.com.au or something like that, right? Cool. Now, if no email can be inferred, leave the field blank. Then rank the, rank the list from most reviews to least and prioritize phone numbers starting with 04. Now, what are we doing here? We want to prioritize the most valuable businesses and the businesses that are already succeeding within this market. In Australia, we can tell the difference between landlines and phone numbers. Most of the time, phone numbers are gonna go through straight to the business owner. So I wanna prioritize those numbers over the landlines, which in Australia start with 02 or 07 or whatever it may be. Add another column at the end with a Google search link for the company owner in the format company name plus owner. So what we're telling it to do is once it scrapes or finds the business or company name, we want to create a link in our spreadsheet because eventually we're gonna you know, move this over to a spreadsheet. We want to create a Google link where it puts the company name and then owner at the end because that, that's the most luck we're going to have in finding the owner's name. And I'll show you how we go through that after. Now, if you can't find the website, presume the website is companyname.com or .au or whatever it may be. All right. Now we want to put a lead score on these leads as well because we want to be calling the most valuable leads uh, first. So, Additionally, include a lead score column based on the following criteria. Five points for businesses with 200 plus Googles, three points for blah, 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 and then we go down to here, right? Two, point, two points for businesses with a rating of 4.5 or higher, right? Remember, they can have a lot of reviews, but if they're rated two star, three star, they're probably not a client you wanna be working with. One point for businesses with a direct phone number starting with 04. Remember, we want to prioritize phone numbers. I'm not sure if you can distinguish phone numbers where you're from, but in Australia, we can. Right, and then finally, add a note, add notes column to include any observations from their website or social media profiles. Cool, that's the prompt. Now, what are we going to do next? Quick interruption. As some of you know, shortly I'll be releasing a completely 100% free program, showing you exactly how I grew my own agency to multiple six figures per year. Now, in this, I want to go over absolutely everything: so mindset, outreach, sales, all the way through to service delivery and beyond. So, I will only be releasing this to my email subscribers a few months earlier than I will to the public if I even do that at all. So if you want access to this free program, remember 100% free in the description below, there'll be a link where you can sign up for that. We're gonna to go to Google and whatever niche you're in, you're gonna put your niche in and then do one suburb or one city at a time. Let's say for example, we wanted to real estate in Sydney, right? You'd ideally want to do a suburb that is less than a major city because Google Maps are only gonna find 200 searches at one time, okay? Now we're gonna go down to Maps, where is it? Maps, go more businesses, and then just copy everything here, right? So copy, 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 doesn't have to be exact, right? And then we go back to DeepSeek and post it. All the info is here. Enter, and this is what's gonna happen. All right, you can see it's making the columns here. So we've got company name, email, phone number, website, Google reviews, location, services that they offer, social media, the owner or manager, the notes, the lead score, and also the link. Right, that's finished. That took literally about 40 seconds. So what we're gonna do is copy and paste all of this into an Excel spreadsheet. 
All right, so copy and then paste. You might have to make everything black. And look at that, we have the company name, their email, the phone number, website, how many reviews they have, location, everything that we need to be able to call these businesses straight away. It's literally taken us five minutes to get 20 quality leads, right? Now you can see out of these 20 leads, we only got two business owners names. Okay, and that actually pulled from the company name. Now, how do we find the business owner's names fast? Exactly why we have this link here, right? So obviously we've found that one. If we wanted to find Morton Real Estate here, the owner, what we do is click on this link. Straight away, we can see in these Google searches, Ewan, I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. Straight away, we can find a co-founder right there, right? So I'd copy that, paste that here. Right, open real estate. There you go, Christopher NG. All right, go back. See, this is taking literally 10 seconds for every single one. Upside Realty, can we see anything from the get go here? No, so what I'll do now is go to the reviews, and more likely than not, we've got Alice. Uh, let me see anything here, no. Catherine, Catherine, uh, Mark. Okay, Catherine, Catherine. So we can confirm this, but in the process of trying to do this as fast as possible, we don't wanna be bogged down trying to find a business owner's name that may not even answer. This one will answer because obviously they, they're well established, but I would just go with the name that comes up the most frequently, right? So I'll just put Catherine, right? Horden Properties, again, there we go. I would presume Daniel Tan is, oh, there we go, founder and principal. Straight away, we found the business owner's name. Okay, so five leads took us, what, a minute to find? If we want to go one step further, we can go back here and we can look for directories, right? If we go to real estate directories, which one's a directory, this one? Domain, uh, no, this is houses. Real estate agents in Sydney. Go to a directory. Right, agencies, agents, cool. So straight away, we can see here, if we were to press, if we were to copy all of this, it wouldn't actually copy the number and email, it would just copy the word, number and email. Now, obviously they've made this in a particular way, so scrapers like us or, or automations can't do this easily. So just take five seconds out of your time to press the call button. The numbers show up, right? My bad. We can go down the whole page here. You get the point. Let's copy this. Copy, go back to DeepSeek. Add these to the list. Paste. So again, it'll do this for the directories Obviously with the directories, we have their name as well. So that obviously they had the name in there, as you can see here. So we're just gonna add all the names from the directory that we found. And of course you could go from page to page to page, right? We go back here, there's 20 plus pages. We just keep doing this over and over again. Same goes for the Google Maps, right? If we go back to Google Maps here, remember we only scraped the first page, go next. Do the same thing, copy this, and you can do this all at once. Right, so copy the first page, put it into DeepSeek. Copy the second page, put it into DeepSeek. And that's all you need to do, right? Press enter and you've suddenly got a lead list of hundreds if not thousands of leads. Absolutely for free. And if you spend just a few minutes every single day, you can fill up your pipeline with as many leads as you want. Now, there would have been no point to actually watching this video if you haven't picked a niche yet. Now, picking a niche can be one of the most important parts to your agency or your online business. So click on the video on the screen now. I go through 50 of the most popular niches within the agency space. So check that out and I'll see you in the next one.